Alright guys, what's going on? Um, sorry this took so long to get to you. Um, <clears throat> super busy, a lot of things going on. So, I apologize. But this was the bonus training from the High Plan High Paying Clients Immersion Course that we did live. And then for the people that didn't make it live, um, our recording messed up. And um, I failed to get it to you. I was out of town for that week. I apologize, I've been super, super busy with a lot of ventures. So, here we go. This was the bonus training, so I want to take you guys through this real quick. Um, and when I did the bonus training, so um, I was actually calling in live. I was in, I was in, uh, I was in Vegas, um, and that was my office for the day uh, at the Rio. Um, when I was calling in live, okay, my little bit cool mouse pad. But let's get right in. Now, look, this method evolved very easily. Uh, oh, this is how it evolved, and the, it's it's a beautiful, a beautiful method. Okay, so this is how it evolved. So we had uh, direct mailers going out. They contain little little soldiers in them, and then we had a theme talking about an army of leads, and then we were split testing, so we had another letter that said something. Um, it was a little bit different, but it still had that army theme to it. And uh, and what we were seeing, okay, um, okay. First of all, I I, I want to ask you know what you know as you're watching this, what do you think the best response was from? Okay, so. Um, just take a guess at your brain, and it's probably not a stretch of the mind to think about this, but veterans. Okay, a lot of people calling us back were saying, hey, I was a veteran, you know, toy soldiers caught my attention, you know, what's going on? Uh, and that was our aha moment, right? So, targeting veterans. You can go here to buyveteran.com, for slash search, search uh, ASPX, or here, which you have access to the slides, veteran-owned. Um, business.com and you can find other resources but these are two really good resources that you can find veteran business owners um, and then uh, target them and appeal to, to their their uh, being a veteran okay so I'm sorry this is sort of cut off on the bottom here but I'll, I'll uh, oops go back up this is not PowerPoint this is something else so this is really new okay so the plan, you find veteran-owned businesses, do your research, send them a direct mail piece with toy soldiers in them, and the letter has a military lingo sprinkled throughout, send 50 to 100 to start, okay, and then, and then you need to process, uh, fulfill orders, and then you need to process um, to make sure, so follow up within four days via email or phone if you do not get a response is what this last bullet down here says, okay, so like if you have mail going out on Monday, you know, on Thursday or Friday, you want to have someone in your company or you or somebody following up. Hey, I sent you a letter in the mail. Just want to know if you have any questions, you know, and uh, and, and do and follow up because you, you can get a lot of uh, revenue into your business by simply picking up the phone and calling, right? I'm just so that's sort of the plan, okay? And we, we're going to provide you this template letter, so uh, don't be afraid to test other things that, that are going to work, okay? Um, again, it's so important just because. They don't call. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't follow up. All right, you have to go. Uh, I, I put right here. You have to go get that money, peoples. Right, so money just doesn't grow on trees. It just doesn't come to you. You're just not going to do nothing, and people are just going to want to send you money. Okay, so um, and tracking. So I, I think it's important um, that you track all your results. Right, so you need to track who you've mailed and when you mailed them. Um, assistants should be doing this type of stuff, uh, or you outsource or whoever. Um, if you're still a one-man shop, guys, you got to fix that. You have to start. If you're making any sorts of money, or even if you have a small, small budget, you'll need ten dollars for someone to work for you for a few hours, and you need to start learning that process. Okay, uh, make sure you put it into some sort of spreadsheet um, or some filing or some way that you can track results. So, like I said, you know, say. On Mondays, you have 50 le uh, letters going out, and then you want 50 letters going out on Friday. Well, the people you mailed on Monday, you want to follow up with them on Friday. When the other letters go out, then on the following Monday, uh, you know, or the following Tuesday, you want to follow up with those people. So you need to put something in place, whatever it may be, whatever works for you. Just make sure you're following up, okay? Um, now, drive in $100 in calls for one penny. This is pretty cool right here, okay? So if you go to HostGator, you can sign up for an account using coupon code G995HCoupon. Um, you redeem an AdWords credit from inside the account for 100 bucks. So use this coupon, you get a hosting for a dollar. Then you redeem your AdWords credit from inside for 100 bucks. Use Namecheap if you don't have, well, if you're looking for a cheap domain uh, to set up your hosting, new hosting account with. 
and then set up your uh, AdWords campaign, and then immediately you can start driving traffic. This process will take you like 10 minutes to set up. Okay, so one, you sign up for a new HostGator account, use that coupon, get it for a buck. Every new HostGator account comes with a $100 hour credit. Boom, there you go, right there. You get $100 to play the way, test with you can do it again, or more or less, or whatever you want to do. So, just a little. Little trip. So, final thoughts on this, and I told you this is a very straightforward process. You target veterans. You send them. Uh, you you allude. You, you you make the the, the marketing message similar uh, to this appeals to them being a veteran. So, the army lingo and army leads. Uh, you know what whatever whatever it is you want to do. Um, uh, what we're providing you. It should, it should be in the back. The uh, provided the proven letter. The little toy soldiers. You can order like hundreds for a few bucks on Amazon. Don't just send five or ten of these out. Start with fifty or hundred. You, you guys, when you do direct mail, these sorts of direct response marketing, you really have to invest the 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 numbers. It's a numbers game, okay? So keep this in mind. D a direct response rates average right now. If if I was to send out um, one hundred postcards or one hundred letters or whatever, if I only got two or three responses back from those one hundred, that's that's the average, okay? That's completely normal. So. If you're sending out a hundred, and, and, and th this will work better, it should work better than average because of the, the way that you target this, if you do it correctly. Um, but even with, if you send out a hundred and the average response is two or three, and you get an average response, that means you only have two or three chances to close a client. To, do, or, I mean, are you gonna be three for three, zero for three? What, what's gonna happen, okay? So if you send out 500, then do you see what I'm saying? So. Um, if you want to do this method, make sure you put aside a couple hundred, few hundred dollars to invest in the campaign. Make sure that you can afford it. Don't take your last two hundred dollars in your bank account and then go and invest in direct mailing. Okay, um, this is just for people that are in a position position to be able to do so. And remember, follow up. You have to follow up with these people. Okay. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. The live call went a little bit longer, but that's because we were bull crap, uh, bullshitting around and and uh, you know answering questions and, and stuff like that. But. I want to make sure you got. I went over this guy. Went over this for you guys.